Ben Wisner, welcome, and congratulations on your role in your new film. Well, you know, <laughs> my role has been very little. I've had the real privilege of getting to stand beside Edward Snowden as he changed history. Can you talk about your relationship with Snowden and your relationship with him and your capacity as an attorney? Well, one of the things that I'm so happy about about this film um, is that the Edward Snowden, who I've gotten to know so well over the course year, uh, over the course of the last year, let me start that again. Sure, sure. One of the things that I'm so happy about about this film uh, is that now, for the first time, much of the world will get to see Edward Snowden as I've gotten to know him uh, over the last year. Uh, this is someone who is. Uh, responsible, who's serious, who's visionary, uh, who is self-effacing, uh, who is brilliant, uh, and who made historic decisions by himself without any legal advice uh, and, and without knowing what the consequences would be for himself. So, uh, so it was a privilege to have a chance to advise him after the fact, uh, but my role compared to his has been minuscule. Well, can you describe exactly what that role is? I mean, to what extent are you providing him with normal legal advice and to what extent are you doing things that few attorneys or people in the country would be willing to do? Well, I'll say this, this is not a normal client and he's not a normal client because his first priority is not his own safety and comfort. His first priority uh, is restoring the American people and the public to the seat of government and reforming surveillance and he has made clear from the very beginning that although he would like to have a better outcome for her, himself, he'd like to be able to return to the United States with dignity. His first priority uh, is that the world confront this unprecedented situation of mass surveillance where governments for the first time in our history uh, have the technological capability to record and store everything we do. Uh, our democratic controls have not kept pace with this world of technology uh, and we need to have the debate now that we should have had before these technologies were deployed. Uh, and so much of my role has been helping him uh, participate in the debate that he helped to shape. Obviously you've been active in promoting the documentary. Can you talk about the kinds of reactions that you've seen from audience members and what promoting the film has been like? Well, so far I've only had a chance to see the film with other people who are intimately involved with the situation. And I'm very, very eager to see how a more general public uh, is going to respond to the documentary. Ben Weisner, thank you so much and welcome to the New York Film Festival.